everyone, you might have just picked up your Apple Watch Series 8 and you might be trying to figure out how you can connect it to your iPhone. Now doing it is actually a very, very basic process and we just kind of have to follow the prompts that are within the display right here. And it basically tells you, bring your iPhone close to your Apple Watch. So in this case, I have my iPhone right here and as soon as I bring it close to my Apple Watch right here, you might see a little prompt at the bottom. This is how you get started. So now what you want to do is you want to go and click continue. Now if the prompt doesn't come up, you may just have to you know, put it away from your iPhone, bring it back. You can restart your iPhone. And then we can go and set our Apple Watch down for a second. And the rest of the prompts will be setting up on our phone here. So here we want to go and figure out if we want to set it for yourself. Usually I set it for myself. And now it'll go ahead and tell you to bring your Apple Watch. Basically hold the little image that's now on this Apple Watch right here in front of the camera just like so. So as you can see, if you can go and put it in just like that, you'll basically have it paired and now your our Apple Watch is paired. So now we can go ahead and kind of continue on with the setup. Now it's a pretty basic setup, it's not anything crazy here. You can go and figure out if you want it on your left or right wrist, go and click continue. And there is a lot of waiting when you're connecting your Apple Watch to your device. So do keep in mind, you'll get these little prompts. And as soon as you see this little thing come up on your Apple Watch, you're pretty much good to go. You won't have to use your Apple Watch right now in order for you to actually set it up. So when you're on that display on your Apple Watch, all you have to do is kind of wait. So in this case, we're just going to have to play quite a bit of waiting game. You'll also have to have your iCloud account password, you know, if you want to go ahead and set it up. I would recommend just typing it in as soon as you set it up because it is much easier to go and go through there. And that way you can go and have a lot of notifications come up on your Apple Watch as well. As soon as this thing comes up, you can go and click agree right there. And here you can go and type in your passcode. So go ahead and type in your passcode of your Apple ID by clicking enter passcode right there. Once you go ahead and type in your passcode, it can take a few moments for it to actually go ahead and I guess connect to Apple servers and configure it and all that. Now, if you were to click skip this step at the bottom, you're going to have to basically type in the passcode if you want your iMessages and notifications coming up on your Apple Watch anyway. So that's why I would just con you know consider you to just type it in in the first place. Now you can go and figure out if you want an Apple Watch passcode. In this case, I'm going to not add a passcode. So I'm going to click don't use passcode. You can enable location services. I would recommend you to enable location services. For my case, I'm just going to disable it. And now you can go and configure the size if you want bold text, if you want it bigger, if you want it smaller. You can go and kind of actually see in real time on your Apple Watch if you want it smaller or bigger, which is really cool. In this case, I'll just keep it the same. And here I'll just go and click continue. And here you can go and do shared settings. So I'll probably just click OK. Here I'll just click continue. You can set up your activity if you want to. In this case, I'm going to skip this step. You can go and get notifications about your health. You can go and configure it however you want to. And the safety as well, emergency SOS mode, crash detection. If you have an Apple Watch Series 8, you support these things. Now you can go and click continue. And you can go and keep your always on display on it if you want to. And here you can go and figure out if you want grid view or you want list view. I would recommend doing grid view. It looks a little bit better. And here it tell, tell you that your Apple Watch is syncing. And all you have to do now is wait until your Apple Watch is fully synced up. Now you can go and see the ring around your Apple Watch right here. And that basically indicates, as you can see, that indicates how much you're finished. So it looks like we're about like 55% finished. And that's all you have to do now. You just have to wait until your Apple Watch is paired up. So that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.